Hi, David. Thank you for uh, taking the chance to join us. Thank you. And uh, okay, so this is uh, um, the 50th anniversary of Ross Video. Um, you know, looking back to the last 15 years, what is the most exciting moment for you and the Ross Video? Oh, that's easy. That was uh, this past Sunday. <laughs> because, you know, the company has been growing uh, every year uh, since I joined in 1991, an average of 17% growth every year, yeah. doubling every five years. So every year is a record. And uh, this Sunday we had our keynote. It was just before NAB. Yeah. We had over a thousand people in the room. And uh, I got to be on stage five times in this <laughs> keynote and launching more products than we've ever launched before. So that has to be the best. <laughs> it's really exciting. It is. And uh, also that uh, in the past 15 years, I know that uh, every company starts from like uh, the startup. And uh, so the, for the past 50 years, what would be the big challenge uh, you will go through? Wow, there's so many. Uh, over 50 years, I mean, we, we've gone through many recessions and currency devaluations, pandemics yeah. uh, and technology changes. Uh, some of the biggest ones were probably the very first year for the company. Mm -hmm. My father working in his basement with a limited amount of money and a, and a time clock where the money was about to run out to finish a switcher that he hoped people would love. Yeah. That was probably the most risk that the company ever had. But since then, I mean, we've uh, transitioned from you know, analog to digital video, digital video to high definition, high definition to 4K, now 4K moving to compute, and compute moving to cloud. Each one of these transitions is uh, a little scary sometimes. It's yeah. all new technologies and relearning your industry. And uh, you also need to adopt it to the chat. Yes, and often you need to bring new people on. Uh, other things that have changed is not just technologies, but we started as a switcher company and then we added graphics and we added robotics and workflow software and uh, a production company and artists in our rocket surgery company and so forth. And so you have to find entire, it's like building a company in your company over and over again mm -hmm. and finding exactly the right people. Okay. Uh, so speaking of the switcher, we know that the Ross Radio is, uh, was started from the switcher. The main business for Ross Radio was uh, the switcher. Mm -hmm. So what would be the main business for Ross Radio right now? Um, we have three main businesses that are consistently uh, our biggest sellers. One is still switchers. Mm -hmm. Another one is our infrastructure products, uh, which is our routers and uh, modular products. And then uh, the other one is our graphics portfolio, our, our uh, you know our expression graphics and our uh, Piero sports analysis tools and uh, our augmented reality technologies and things like that. But at the same time, things like our, our robotics, often those are the first things. I, those are some of the first products we ever sold into China was our high-end yeah. robots. And, yes, and, uh, it's, it's very a lot. Exciting. Yes, <laughs> so a lot of people think of those as uh, the first thing they think of with Ross. And uh, okay, so um, what is your insight for the trends in the industry in the future? The trend is that there's no trend. And that's very scary. It used to be that it would be an analog video and then you knew the trend would be digital video and then you knew the trend was high definition and then we thought maybe the trend was 4K and it's sort of not quite yet in a lot of places in the world. But the way we're moving video and where we're doing it is, is fragmenting. So by that, I mean, you now have to do, oh, you know it on the back of telecams, you know, the number of different types of video formats that you have to support. Right? People want to see 12 gig SDI, uh, the, even if it's just running HD. Yeah. Then they want to be able to see NDI, and then they want to see 2110, and then maybe the next would be Dante AB. But uh, if you want to connect to the cloud, maybe they'll want to use SRT. Uh, and then when you're connecting, are you connecting to hardware? Are you connecting to uh, software or local compute? Or are you connecting to the cloud? There is no trend, it's exploding. Interesting, so Ross Radio combat everything, prepare for everything for the future? Yes, it, it, and it's quite a challenge. It used to be easy in the research and development. You, you did the new video format and you were done. Mm -hmm. But now you have to do it 
six different ways. And our goal at Ross is we don't want to lose any customers. And every customer is, is always right okay. and always important. <laughs> so our goal is just to say yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, I think we've been successful in, in being able to say yes, regardless of any of those things. Okay, so we're talking about the future and let us go back to the past. So um, how many years have you been in the NAV? Me personally? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm, uh, I'm turning 59 in two weeks. <laughs> and the first time I came to NAB, I remember I was a, maybe 18 years old. And I remember that because I, I would like to play the slot machines in the back of the casino in our hotel. Uh -huh. But I was underage, so I would hope to win, but not win too much. <laughs> <laughs> so, to be honest, uh, in your personal view, uh, do you see any change for the industry, for the core, you know, the core workflow and all the core um, products for the industry, huge change in the industry. Oh, well, there, there's a lot of different things. If you think about the workflows, uh, you know, 20 years ago, uh, people used to put, and sometimes still do put, you know, 20 people into a television control room, mm -hmm. each of them pressing the right button at the right time. Yeah. Now we have products like Overdrive where we're in 600 television stations where it's one person with a computer hitting the space bar and clicking a mouse yeah. and doing an entire television newscast. Uh, and so the idea uh, is that we need to do always more with less. We've been saying that forever mm -hmm. and that will never seem to end. Uh, and when we see workflows, say, in the newsroom or in the editing side of things, uh, those are the, the production workflow. It's the same sort of thing. How do we make people more efficient? Okay. And of course, one of the new things is using artificial intelligence. And that is uh, an area that's about to also explode in, in many different ways in changing the way that we work. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the target is to make everything make easy, make the life easy and then make Yes, that's a really good point. It, it's not just about doing things with less people, but making it very easy to learn. Uh, and because we're always doing new things more faster and faster. And yeah. if it's hard, if it's hard to learn something new, it's going to take a lot longer for it to become adopted. Yeah, no. And OK, so we know that Ross Radio uh, is the leader of the broadcast industry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> and uh, your main business is like high-end broadcast area. Uh, do you have any plan or you are already done that you would like to, you know, to use Ross Radio's cutting edge technology to the enterprise level for the corporate, uh, uh, like, you know, corporate level industry? I mean, to bring your advanced the technology to benefit the enterprise enterprise users? The answer to that is we're already doing that. Okay. <laughs> uh, it, I would say about uh, maybe 10 years ago, 90% of our, our, our sales might well have been in broadcast. Now it's only about 30%. 30%? Yes. It's, it's, uh, and our broadcast sales are larger than they ever were. It's not yeah. getting smaller, mm -hmm. but our non-broadcast sales are going up far faster than our broadcast sales. And of course, we've been growing every year. And so things like sports, live events, concerts, uh, uh, big churches, educational facilities, and corporate video in particular is a, a big part of our business. There's event spaces, uh, there's corporate communications rooms, uh, and also meeting rooms and large legislatures and government and things like that as well that all use similar technologies that I would say is more high-end AV than, uh, than broadcast, but it, it's very, very similar technology. Okay, so the users, the prosumers and the consumers, they also have the chance to try Ross Radio's technology. Let's go a little bit above prosumers. <laughs> I, I think it would be high-end AV, you know, uh, and, and bigger productions. Yeah. But, uh, but if they get a job there, yes, they get to use it. <laughs> Okay, so my last question is, uh, what is the secret to make Ross Radio so successful? Ah, oh, but if I told you, then everybody else would know. No, <laughs> I don't think it's, it's, it's it sounds really easy, uh, but uh, a lot of people find a hard time doing it. I think it is, treat, 
bringing in really good people and treating them well and encouraging them to stay in the business so that they don't leave and start their own company someday uh, and That's that they important. contribute to the people that they're working in, the team that they're in. Uh, and we've been so lucky over the years to bring in so many brilliant, brilliant people that have developed incredible products uh, like our expression graphics, like our robots, like our our, 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 our production switchers bringing it into the future, uh, the underpinning technology, and also the people who are so good at our sales and marketing and other departments as well. It, I, my dad used to say a company is only people, yeah. uh, but having the right people and, and always encouraging them to do, to do great things, you do that for uh, 15 years in a row, this is what you get. You are the right people to connect all brilliant uh, genius into Ross Radio. In Ross Radio. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I saw your uh, code of uh, ethic and your culture. It's very fantastic. I, the nice thing about that culture uh, is, it doesn't matter who it is or where they're from. Everybody agrees with that. Okay. It's it's just a fundamental human philosophy. It's fantastic. Okay, thank you for having the conversation with me. Okay, thank you very much, David Ross. Thank you, it was a pleasure. Okay.